Mr. Kelso? That's what the sign on the door says, miss. I used to be indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. You're a real asshole, you know that? There's no need to come into the office, Ms. Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. I don't accept the what settlement. What do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay. Let me get the case file. There's got to be more in these files. I used to be indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. You're a real asshole, you know that? Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. 
Sorry for your loss. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already told you I do not want the money. There's something wrong. You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. Then how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. You really want to know? Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Do you see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso? We spent four years there. So the roof collapsed. Accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. You're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. What are you going to do about it? All right, Miss Lichtman. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is that the usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Ms. Lichtman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Kelso. The address? Not the phone number. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack, upstairs. Come on, I'll walk you up. I used to be in the Are you going to the Mocambo no, this I'm Friday? Not so sure. I think he's a bit of a gangster, but he treats me nice. Someone ought to take him home. He's loaded. <laughs> Mr. Benson, you wanted to see me? Ah, oh, yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Miss Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that she's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into is it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. Deal with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. 
Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack, fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Thanks, Mr. Benson. Your car, Mr. Kelso. Thanks, kid. That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. Bulldozing and starting again. Leland Monroe, the man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. walking around down here. I'm Jack Kelso from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter and- You deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. <laughs> I came to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. Listening. 
to KTI Radio, serving California and the West Coast with music and variety. The place falls down and then they bulldoze it. What gives here? I don't need this. I used to be indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. Try to piece this together. He wants a five star goddamn wedding. Keystone Films? Who gets their lumber from a film studio? Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is 658 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. Back. 
I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. At a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. So this is where their lumber comes from? That's one way to keep your costs down. Too bad it won't support a roof. Gotta be something else around here. Wonder what's left in the buildings. See what the rich and powerful have to say for themselves. The real should be nearby. I need to find a game well or a telephone.
Operator, I'd be glad if you'd put me through to police dispatch. Putting you through now. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buckwalter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Lou Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Of you the same, Mr. Kelso. Thanks, ma'am. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's not plan. my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risk. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help. And he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Going to church doesn't make you any more Christian than standing in a garage makes you a car.
Nice wiring job, fellas. Keep them in the dark. You lose something, Mac? I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Let's put a few packs in that. <laughs> Time for you to lose the You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduce themselves. <laughs> what do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Yeah, I know a good place. I'll pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. Sorry, pal. Desperate times.
So you're still carrying that Army 45, Cole? For God's sake, Cole! Call an ambulance! 